International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking is annually observed on 26 June to raise awareness on the dangers of drugs and to strengthen global action to achieve a world free from drug abuse. So, what are the dangers of drugs? How do they affect our mind? First, let's take a look at how our brain works. The basic working unit of the brain is called a neuron. Neurons send signals back and forth to each other and to the rest of the nervous system. In order to do this, it releases neurotransmitters through the gap between it and the next neuron. Let's take a closer look at this gap. Once the neurotransmitter crosses the gap, it attaches itself on the receptor of the receiving neuron. In the middle of our brain, there's a system that controls our emotions and memories. Part of that system is called the brain reward system, which generates the feelings of pleasure. One type of neurotransmitter involved in this system is called dopamine. When dopamine is released, it sends signals to the brain that something important is happening and it needs to be remembered. For example, if you are doing a pleasurable activity such as laughing, eating your favourite food or watching your favourite TV show, the release of dopamine in the reward system tells the brain that these activities are pleasurable and it should continue seeking activities like that. So how do drugs affect this system? Some drugs have similar chemical structures as our natural neurotransmitters. This means that the drugs can activate neurons. However, since they are not natural neurotransmitters, they send abnormal messages to the brain. Other drugs can cause neurons to release large amounts of natural neurotransmitters, like dopamine, and this overactivates the reward system. It then makes a connection between the pleasurable feeling and drugs. The increased use of drugs makes the brain adjust the levels of dopamine and other neurotransmitters. The brain will then produce less of these neurotransmitters in the reward system or it will reduce the number of receptors receiving the neurotransmitters. This means that it will get much more difficult for the person to feel pleasure from anything but the drugs. Over time, as the brain gets more adapted to high levels of dopamine, taking drugs becomes less of a pleasure unless they keep taking more drugs. Eventually, the person takes drugs to relieve from the discomfort rather than to seek the initial high. Although the effects of drugs vary from person to person, the process is a difficult one to stop. Instead of turning to drugs, we could always choose natural ways to release chemicals in our brain that makes us feel good. What are some of your favourite activities that you do to keep yourself healthy and kicking? Let's spread this awareness and work together in making a world free from drug abuse.